good morning hey guys welcome back to my channel i wanted to do a fun video since everyone is home i hope everyone is home and social distancing and self-quarantine i wanted to do like a day in the life where i'm just home all day doing nothing like i mentioned i have no computer so i'm very sad i don't know how i'm gonna edit this video i really trying to get something to work but um what i wanted to mention today is saturday i'm just chilling home doing nothing i've been in bed okay it's currently like almost one it's 12 something noon time i woke up like an hour ago i went to bed super late yesterday and then i woke up like an hour two hours ago and i've just been in bed on my phone going through social media and then i want to read now for a couple of minutes before i go into the bathroom and do my skincare i want to bring you guys with me and do my fun skincare a little meal you know just chilling doing the most and everything doing laundry i did have like a few of my clothes washed the other day and i have them like folded up here so i need to put them away as well so i wanted to mention i finished so these were my march reads for this month and i finished this one so i want to get into this one the power of your subconscious mind got like and start reading this and see how well i like it hopefully i like it enough to finish it all if not then i'm just gonna move ahead to my other book like since i'm like starting to get back into reading and stuff i don't want to like pressure myself i'm just like if i don't like a book if it's not keeping me interested or if i'm not feeling it i'm just gonna let it go i'm not gonna force myself to finish it and everything so that's one of my tips and tricks into reading much more and finding books that i like a lot more so if i don't like a book moving on swiftly from it so yeah so i'm just gonna read for a few minutes and then we are gonna go into the bathroom and do a little bit of a skincare honestly my skin has been doing pretty well pretty pretty well it's been clear most of the time i just have a few bumps here and here which is like you know those bumps that i'm always complaining about but that's basically it and i do have a bit of like hyperpigmentation which i am currently working on that's my biggest goal right now is to get rid of my pigmentation completely i did have a scar here but it's practically almost gone i don't know if you guys can see it there and there it was once a big pimple but now it's practically gone but and my chin as well has a little bit of like pigmentation but that's what i'm currently working on my hyperpigmentation and my dark spots i'm just trying to have those like disappear and be gone because i'm enjoying a lot more no makeup days so in order for me to do that a lot more often i'm i don't want to have like pigmentation on my skin because that's kind of like make me want to feel a little bit like oh, i need to cover this up if you know what i mean but yeah so we're gonna read gonna do skincare and then we're gonna put away my laundry back to where it belongs should i film a video today nah i'll probably film a video tomorrow or something i was really thinking about like putting on a robe to do my skincare but then i was like it's a bit heavy i'm feeling it kind of hot so i thought i would just put it on my i'm trying to do my skincare so as i was saying before i was rudely interrupted i've been trying out a few new skincare products in my routine which i feel like have been helping me a lot i have been using some of these over a month some over two months and some of them just over a week so you guys will probably see the unboxing in a different vlog which i filmed previously to this but i want this vlog to go up first so yeah this is a better angle for all of us i guess so what i usually been washing my face with so okay so i've been changing my morning cleanser and my night cleanser usually when i do at night some days when i have makeup on or some days when i have like skincare product build up throughout the day i just use a normal cleanser the one from dr bronner's or like just any other more heavy duty cleanser that will help like actually clean my skin but since it's in the morning and i feel like my skin just like renewed itself it's fresh it's nice i don't want to strip all the natural oils away from my face so i've been using this simple there we go this is the simple moisturizing facial wash it's a very gentle it foams but it's 100 percent so free that's why i absolutely really really love it so this is what we're going to use we're going to wash our hands obviously okay so now that my face is cleansed i'm gonna go in with this simple face mask it's like a detox brightening face mask from simple that i got from so 
So that's how my face looks like. I'm gonna let this dry and we're gonna go get my laundry in whatever and then I will see you guys in a bit. So my mask is finally dry and I'm gonna wash it off right now. I'm just gonna tone my face real quick. This is the pixie. This is also kind of fairly new. I got it back in December during the Black Friday sale and it's not as high as the, the ordinary one. It's the really 5% glycolic acid toner. It's a glow tonic by pixie. I'm really really loving this right now. This angle is very weird. I'm sorry. It's because the windows are here and it's it kind of like ruins with the color. One of the latest products that I've been incorporating in my skincare routine is Good Molecules. It's a new brand at Be Delish. It kind of like rivals um, the ordinary products. The price range is almost similar and they have some similar products, but I saw really interesting products that I really wanted to try. So this is the daily brightening serum that I really, really actually like. I've used it, I think, thrice now. It's quite thick, actually. And I only use uh, four drops for my whole face because I'm planning to have it last. The main ingredients in this primer is uh, alpha butene and hyaluronic acid. I have used hyaluronic acid before in an essence, in a serum, in a moisturizer. Though Neutrogena moisturizer that I use has hyaluronic acid, but I have never used uh, alpha butene beta butene. So there's alpha butene and then there's beta butene. Um, sure that it's good for brightening and everything but i've never really used it in a serum or whatever i know the ordinary has its own version of that serum the alpha abutene but i've never tried abutene in any form before so i'm super excited to try it i've worn this serum before maybe but i've been using this more than the other products that i got so i'm really super excited to see how this one works out for me i think it was about six dollars or eight Vitamin C, as always, like I said, my main is to get rid of the hyperpigmentation, so vitamin C is playing a big role. So what I do is alternate between the actual vitamin C serums that I have and the vitamin C booster that I got from these guys, the Good Molecules guys as well, which is a very interesting product. This is my vitamin C and E serum from No BS. It has pomegranate, hyaluronic acid, and green tea as well. I'm gonna do three serums, three drops of the vitamin C. My Die Hard Moisturizer. I really, really enjoy this moisturizer. It's the Neutrogena Water Boost Water Gel Moisturizer with Hyaluronic Acid. I love this. I'm practically out, so I need to like get me like five more bottles, which is so crazy because in the US and in the UK, they're about like four pounds, five dollars, and they sell it for like 20 bucks here, which is like 2,500, 2,800. Kind of sad. So I'm gonna find someone who's coming from abroad and just stock up on these. Then after the moisturizer, I usually like going in with a facial oil. Facial oils are one of my favorite things ever. I feel like that's one of the things that boosted my skincare. And one of my favorite facial oils is rosehip oil. Rosehip seed oil. This is antioxidant rich facial oil that delivers natural with vitamin A and helps restore skin elasticity. That's what it looks like. It's from Good Molecules. It's like a 13 ml bottle. Finally, is sunscreen. I don't know how much I can say this, but sunscreen is very important, guys. I've seen the difference. It's helped me so much with my hyperpigmentation. I've been taking sunscreen very seriously now ever since I got the Kula spray sunscreen. It says body, but I've been using it on my face and I haven't been reacting to it, so I'm just gonna keep going. So usually when I do not wear vitamin C serum, I usually wear that vitamin C booster that I got from uh, the Good Molecules. Basically, it's like a powder that I mix in my moisturizer and then it just like dissolves in there and then it turns my moisturizer into like a vitamin C thingy, which I really like the product. But I'm gonna keep using them and give a like you, I've only used a vitamin C product like a few days. It's not recommended to use every day. It's like every three days out of the week. So I use it I think two to three days a week and I really like it. I gotta go. I'll see you guys later. So after my skincare, um, I don't think that can be seen properly. Okay, this is better. So I've just been sitting at the table editing. Yeah. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah. Video that I edited. It's a favorite video considering the fact that I did 
I've been using a lot of new products and I just wanted to share a few of my favorite beauty products that I've been using. So hope you guys enjoyed. You probably will see this before. You probably see that video before this one goes up, but that's what I've been up to. I think I'm gonna call it a night after this and then I'll pick you guys up tomorrow. Hey, what's up? Okay, update. Today is what day is today? Monday. I feel like I'm losing count of the days. I was supposed to put away the laundry the other day, but I didn't. So I'm gonna do that now. All the clothes are like folded and stuff up there. So we're gonna sort that out right now and figure out what to put where and all that stuff i have okay so i had plans to, to film today i really wanted to film today a few videos but i'm feeling super lazy and the sun isn't out the sun isn't out out today it's a bit cloudy so i'm not happy about that so i think i'm just gonna push it forward i feel like that's what i've been doing but also i have like a lot of content to film you know i don't know it's moving read a book you know catch up on catch up on life the book currently reading now i finished the other one by mary clark higgins which i really want to do like a blog post on my books or probably like a video on the books that i've been reading recently but the book i've been reading is called the power of the subconscious mind I just since this quarantine is giving me a lot of free time i thought i might as well just like organize this mess as you guys can see i have a lot of stuff here that is a lot and i need to figure out how to separate them and everything so i just want to show you guys my collection of white shirts i decided to put like all my white shirts in hangers and there's one two three four plus one that has been washed so that's a five white blouses all of them are different styles different vibes but that's a lot of white shirts right some of them are like off-white some of them are like bright white so it just like kind of depends but I wanted to put like all my jackets on the inside. Lisa is on another. This is like my lilac suit that I love so much. Ugh, one of my favorite pieces ever. I still haven't had the chance to wear this out to like an event. I'm still holding on to that. But the blazers are all here. So far, I have one, two, three, four. I had a fifth black one, but I decided to donate it because I wasn't feeling it anymore. It was an old, like, high school blazer that belonged to my sister. I liked the vibe for a couple of years, like, two years probably, and then I was like, yeah, this does not meet my, meet my vibes as well. Plus, it was kind of, like, boxy with, like, the shoulder pads and everything, so I said I'm going to invest in a nice black blazer soon. So, I'll get rid of that. This is my sweater. But I want to hang. I have the other ones up there. It's my shirt. Okay, so the longer ones have come here. That's not so bad. Okay, my hoodies needs to come here. This one is from Buhuman. It has like a matching pants that are in there. So that's it. I have my bags in here that I've been carrying lately. What's in here? Power bank that I need to charge. Lip products that I need to get out of. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this one up there so let me fold this so this there that's where all my bags go in dust bags so that it protects the bags themselves from dust and from wearing out and the cabinets as well so my other bag is in here this is like my more everyday stuff so i'm gonna use this in here but i'm still gonna put it upstairs if it allows me my carlala video my curl la product that I mentioned in my previous video. Can you tell me why I'm down? Yeah. No friends of mine, no friends of mine around. The system that I have in here for now until I figure it out is these are like my everyday products. Like I said, I'm having a desk mate, so these are staying here for now. So this just holds my everyday masks, my facial sprays, my shampoo, my body oil, my body sprays. My micellar water, my deal, brushes, hairbrush, my jade roller, pair of scissors, just like my everyday type of stuff that I use every day. This is where all my skirts are, the pile in that corner, wait, that one. And then those are my dresses, those are like my fabric pants. Behind my skirts are like my jeans. And then behind these are like my fabric pants. And then those are another pile of dresses, like the more bulkier dresses. And that's another 
like whatever of bulk dresses but underneath that are like my more heavier skirts so okay you guys i don't know what the hell is going on but basically i bought skirts from gekomba do you see this one so there's this one that i bought this this one this lime green one and this navy one and i really wanted to wear these were like my office like work skirts that i got but i don't know what happened i don't know if this is the color or something happened to them but i gave them out to be washed and when it came back it came back with these like white stuff all over it <laughs> i don't know if you guys know how to get it out because i'm sure when i got the skirt it was this color like all of it and now it looks like some tie-dye and no my help did not bleach the skirt i just thought the first time had like so prominent and then i took it out the second time and told her just try again the second time and see if it'll come out and it came back and it's still you see <laughs> so disgusting so yeah i think i'm just gonna finish up the rest and then i'll catch you guys probably in the kitchen whipping a meal up or whatever yeah I'm focused i was just busy editing the vlog that is going up i realized that i did not sign out and i did not go into the kitchen afterwards i did but i made myself like a quick meal honestly i forgot about vlogging it sorry about that anyway i'm editing this vlog and i forgot to sign out of this vlog i didn't think it would come up to like 15 minutes but it did it's super long i hope you guys enjoyed this mini quarantine with me it was probably just like two days honestly and what i got up to those two days i don't know i've been watching a lot of these like quarantine with me type of videos and i thought why not vlog a day the initial plan was to vlog just a single day but i ended up stretching it out too so i hope you guys enjoy this video i hope you guys are staying safe i hope you guys are staying at home i hope you guys are taking care of yourselves and i hope you guys are washing your hands and i hope you guys are taking extra precautions to not get sick so yeah subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys in my next video bye I wanna drown myself inside the